The entrance antiphon, Hail, Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the, uh, the feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the just is smooth. The path of the just you made level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgments dawns upon the earth. The world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you meet our peace to us. For it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cry out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth, right and Christ out in her pains. So were we in our your presence, O Lord. We conceived and right in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth, but your death shall live. Their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust, for your dew is a dew of light, and the land of the shades gives birth. The word of the Lord. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. You, O Lord, abide forever, and your name through all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for it is time to pity her, for her stones are dear to your servants, and her dust moves them to pity. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and on the kings of the earth your glory, when the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory. When he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer from the heaven. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looks down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. 
Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Sometimes this reading is prayed or read at anointing of the sick, uh, and it's very fitting because when we're sick, we feel burdened, and we are burdened, and we labor in different ways. And that yoke, the idea of a yoke is it's your puts put on you, and you're pulling something, usually, maybe a plow or a wagon, but, so, but what does that make us? A beast of burden, right, in a way? Um, so the yoke, ah, I don't want a yoke. Um, and that's what we have, you know, in our lives. There's different yokes. Sometimes they keep us up at night, right? Sometimes we, they wake us up in the night. Sometimes it's the first thing we think of when we wake up. Sometimes it's something we reflect on at the end of our day. Whether it's a yoke, a burden that stems from work or relationships or illness or some personal challenge, sin. There's just these different burdens. And so we think, Lord Jesus, why are you telling me to take on your yoke? I don't want any burdens. Well, here's another way to look at a yoke. Is when you have two oxen, they're yoked next to each other. That's where the word con conjugal, conjugal uh, comes from. Uh, that means yoked together, marriage. They're yoked together, side by side. And they help each other. And so when we take on the Lord's yoke, we let him be our lead, then there can be peace, there can be rest. Because Jesus says, my yoke is easy and my burden light. And he leads us to the Father, and he fills us with the Spirit. So today, we do have things we're burdened by, and we feel them, we notice them, we think about them, we respond to them. But let's first, and at the bottom of our heart, say, I look at you, Jesus. I look at you, yoked with me. And I'm going to look at everything else only with you and through your perspective and with your help. The Lord calls us to him, and so we bring him our burdens, needs, and petitions in prayer. For the church, may the Lord in his abundant goodness continue to nourish her through the gifts and fruit of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, may God bring peace to every nation, every home, every heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Holy Trinity Parish, especially those carrying on the legacy from St. Joseph, Bernard, and St. Matthew parishes, that we may come with gratitude into this new chapter of our history. For on the grace bestowed during the history of these parishes and on the gifts these parishioners bring to the new community, woven together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us on to persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died from the effect of the coronavirus. May God the Father welcome them into his eternal rest. Carol Rees, 
and for the intention of this Mass, Angeline Widrin, Mary Fuller, Joe Lang, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold silently in our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And together we offer our vocations prayer. God our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invocation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious as we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just as a clarification, uh, as it was written, the fifth petition for those who have died from coronavirus, I, I mean, I don't know that Miss Carol Reese, our, our friend, died from that. I, I don't think that's the case. So um, if that's what you heard, I think that it was just not written correctly here. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrifice, sacrificial offerings that, through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to, to, pr uh, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace and we can receive the every body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ. But through your loving mercy, be for your protection, mind and body, and healing of me. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, in your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.